Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Thursday, February 15, 2024. 31 degrees at 9.24 a.m. and I'm your host, Va Kamal, and I'm a sinner. I am powerless and my life is unmanageable. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It is always today and it's always now. My life is not my own. My will will not be done. There is no reality but God, and the only thing we have to do is die. So how are we going to live today? Well, I hope and I pray I can live from my heart, a life based on faith and not fear. I'm here with my brother, Prince and co-star Sullivan. Mackie was here. Sully and Mackie both went outside. Michael and Elsie are upstairs on the bed. We've got winter back. Snow is back. And I knew it would be. I've lived up here too long to know that when we start getting mild weather this early in the year, winter is definitely not over. There's a freak year it happened, I think, maybe back in like 1998 in March. Spring came and stayed, but for the most part, this could happen up through May. And anyway, yeah, that reminds me one year... I believe it was in 2012 on Mother's Day. I think it was May 12th. I'm not sure exactly, but it was in 2012. It was May. It was Mother's Day. And, you know, all signs of snow and everything had been gone for quite a while. It had been warm. In fact, the day before Mother's Day, it was sunny and like 70 degrees. And then on Mother's Day, we woke up to a blizzard, and the wind was blowing so hard when you looked out the window, the snow was going sideways through the, through the air. <laughs> so anyway, we got a bit of that going on out there now. It's beautiful. It reminds me of Christmas, and it feels like Christmas. No sign of any wildlife out feeding. There is food out there for them. Oh boy, where do we begin today? To the 8 billion of you who do not tune in on a regular basis, yesterday's mic show abruptly ended. And that happens. And if you're expecting perfection on this program, you're going to let yourself down every time. But Sully was coming in through the window and I was moving the hand, my, the phone from one hand to the other, and I must have hit stop when I was opening the window to let him in. So, there's your explanation. Oh boy, we finished our morning readings, our morning prayers. We're just about finished with our morning coffee. We had gruel again, cold, thin, and watery, and I burnt it again. Two days in a row I burnt my gruel, but I scraped all the burnt stuff off the bottom and mixed it in with the part that wasn't burnt and I ate every bit of it because that's the kind of guy I am. I think it was mostly the raisins that burned. And I had even turned the heat down on the, the gruel when I was heating it up and out here with Max and Sully. And, uh, but yeah, if you're not there to stir it, I think what happens is the sugar and the raisins is what's burning. So anyway, slept so-so, fell asleep upstairs, and ended up on Audie's bed in the living room. Got up around 7.30, I think. A recap from yesterday. We conjured up bread in the morning, and then we took a loaf to Keith at Save-A-Lot, stopped at Marine Market, stopped at uh, Tractor Supply. We took the guys at Marine Market a loaf of bread. And then what else? At Tractor Supply we picked up some treats for my sweetses. And then it was off to the, the range at Devil's Lake and I made some noise again and I really enjoyed it. And I was Wondering if, you know, it was such a nice day yesterday. It was nearly 40 degrees again and uh, sunny. And there was no wind. And I thought, you know, you should go for a bike ride. But, no, I'm glad I made the choice I did. I, I went shooting and I enjoyed that. Came home. Um, conjured up a salad and a cheeseburger for dinner. 
and just hung out with the cats. We read to them. Uh, did I work on a puzzle? Can't remember that. And did a, a double feature uh, of Paul Newman movies directed by Martin Ritt. One of them I watched on Canopy called HUD. Also starring Patricia Neal, uh, Brandon DeWilde, and Melvin Douglas. Ouch, that was not fun. And then the second uh, part of that double feature was Ombre. Yeah, Coast, that one co-starred uh, Richard Boone, man. He was great. He can be, he plays a, an awesome bad guy. So anyway, and I can't think of the female lead in that movie. There were, there were three women in there. The hottest one was married to Sean Connery at one time, and I can't think of her name. But anyway, uh, so here we are. Here we are. We're expected to get about seven inches of snow, according to the weather conjurers. And uh, I don't know, I might get out in that, because it'll be an adventure to ride the fatty in this. Um, and I'm, I may just hang out here all day, too. I don't know, but the water bill is due today, and I might go take some recyclables back. And, you know, I'd probably get about a five-mile ride in just to be an adventure. Or I could just walk down to pay the bill. I don't know, but I'll probably ride the bike. So, my main concern, as usual, is my little man, Michael. Um, his eye is still not better, and I think I'm going to be contacting the vet's office to see what plan C or plan D is. Yeah, and I also, this morning, we've had all kinds of excitement, by my standards anyway. Got a call from Dental Clinics North. I have an appointment in April, and I'm on the cancellation list, and they called me with a an appointment for Monday, this coming Monday, and... I didn't get back in time quick enough. It was already filled, but anyway. So that's where we're at. We're going to take a break. Welcome back. And I don't really mean that. And I didn't mean it when I said good morning either. Still sitting here with that Sully. And he's, he's comfy, so I don't want to move and wake him up. I've been looking at what passes for news and... Didn't spend much time with that today. Same old thing, same old thing. The agenda's being pushed in all fronts. The country is going down the shitter. The toilet was flushed a long time ago and all of us turds are just a swirling around waiting to hit the pipe and the drain. I just love the spin they put on things, on the narrative, whatever it may be. As far as, you know, the, the, the immigrants, not illegal aliens, and mass shootings when it's actually gang warfare. Street gangs, do they arrest them? Nah. Blame the guns, as usual. Oh, can't hold anybody accountable for their behavior, because that's racist and sexist and what's all the other catchwords and buzz phrases that, that's going on out there homophobic and transphobic and everything else you know white men bad white men evil everything that's gone wrong from the time of recorded history and before white man's fault oh diversity good diversity makes us strong Oh, boy. And I'm probably considered a white supremacist because I constantly talk about people being accountable for what they think, say, and do and holding people accountable for what they think, say, and do. But that makes me, according to a lot of people, that makes me a mega right-wing white supremacist extremist. Oh, boy. Anyway... I think that's about all we got this morning. I wish we could get our country back to the way it was intended in the Constitution. It's 
instead of what it's turned into. So anyway, and it is our winter fundraiser. Send money. I'll take Canadian dollars, U.S. dollars, Australian dollars, shekels, rubles, rupees, francs, Swiss francs, French francs, euros, zlatis, drachmas, kopecks, kroners, krugerrands we'll take, yen and sen, we'll take it all as well as ammunition, 22 caliber long rifle, 38 special, 38 plus P, 357, 9 millimeter, and 12 gauge. We take it all, so send it. And with that, we are going to close. From the cold gray ashes and coals of my cold black heart, my broken, beaten, battered, bruised, bloody, burdened, empty, hollow, cracked, shattered, hopeless, forsaken, forlorn, tired, confused, Twisted, angry, bitter, grieving, happy and grateful soul. Piss off. Happy No Complaint Thursday and thanks for not tuning in.